Continuing to find limits, let's discuss step three. Now, if you plugged in your x value and you couldn't because you're dividing by zero or some other horrifying mathematical thing, then you moved on to algebra gymnastics to try to cancel out that factor that was giving you a, a difficult time. However, you can't actually cancel out that factor because there's nothing on top to cancel it out with. That happens sometimes. Well, then my friend, it's time to go on to the vertical asymptote analysis. For this, you are going to assume that you have a vertical asymptote in your function. What does this mean? Well, here are four cases for what could happen in a vertical asymptote. Case number one, if you approach zero from the left-hand side here, our function's approaching negative infinity. But if we approach zero from the positive side, our function's approaching positive infinity. We have a vertical asymptote at x equals zero. Now, keep in mind that in this particular example, the limit doesn't exist. Why? Because the left-hand limit is negative infinity and the right-hand limit is positive infinity. And because the left-hand limit does not equal the right-hand limit, this limit does not exist. So here, the limit as x approaches 0 of our function f of x does not exist. And the reason for this is because the limit as x approaches 0 from the left-hand side of f of x is equal to negative infinity and the limit as x approaches zero from the positive side of f of x is equal to positive infinity. And because negative infinity does not equal positive infinity, the limit, therefore, does not exist. Now, let's talk about the other possible cases that could happen here. Case number two is that the left-hand limit goes to infinity, but the right-hand limit goes to negative infinity. In this example as well, the limit does not exist because the left-hand limit does not equal the right-hand limit. Now let's take a look at case number three. Here, the limit from the left-hand side approaches infinity, and the limit from the right-hand side also approaches infinity. Here, the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x is equal to infinity because both sides are going off to infinity. Last but not least, what happens if the left-hand side goes to negative infinity and the right-hand side goes to negative infinity? Well, here the limit exists because the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side and is equal to negative infinity. So the whole idea behind the vertical asymptote analysis is we're going to assume that on both sides our function is diverging to either infinity or negative infinity. The question is which? So for our analysis we are going to take the limit as our number approaches the left hand side. We'll take the limit as our, uh, as our number approaches the right-hand side. And we'll see whether our function is approaching infinity or negative infinity from both sides. If they both approach infinity, our limit's infinity. If they both approach negative infinity, our limit is negative infinity. However, if one goes to infinity and the other goes to negative infinity, like, like we have on top, well then, the limit does not exist.